Russian human rights group Memorial have installed a series of plaques paying tribute to those repressed by the Soviet Union. The project, known as Last Address, details the lives of ordinary Moscow residents who were persecuted during the reign of Joseph Stalin. People walk around the city, the city where tens and hundreds of thousands of people were killed, and they don't see, and there are no traces of it. This is our memory. It is a trace of state terror. It makes people wonder, kids will ask, what is that? Why? What for? The most important thing is that the tablets aren't of some great artists or designers, etc., but just ordinary people, just Moscow residents. Every person is worthy and has the right to a name. Each plaque includes the name, birth, arrest and execution dates of the victims. The project, this sort of chain memorial, which consists of these little plaques, arose, each one dedicated to one concrete person and it will be hung on the wall of the building that was the last to address for him. That is, the house from which he was grabbed and never returned. Similar initiatives have been implemented in Germany and elsewhere in Europe to remember Holocaust victims. Muscovites back the project. I think it's really important. The only thing it seems to me is that this plaque should be brighter, not just have a surname on it, because you could just walk past it. And if you don't know it's there, you don't notice it. Otherwise, everything's all right. It's good that we remember. Memorial is one of the oldest rights bodies in Russia and made its name identifying violations made during the Soviet Union. The organization is facing closure following a clampdown from Moscow over their coverage of Russian soldiers fighting in East Ukraine. Stalin initiated a series of purges in the 1930s against political opponents and the socially marginalized, which became known as the Great Terror.